plate? Yeah, I got a form to uh, submit. Is that all? Yeah, do you need anything else? Uh, I don't think so. I got the uh, copy here, so. All right. Thank you. Thank you. How you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Good. You must be the uh, First Amendment guy. I am. I'm just good. getting some B-roll of the place and uh, I'll be on my way. Thank you. You got it. How you doing? I guess they heard of me down here. It's not me that they heard of, guys. It's the Erie County family heard of. That's for sure. Pretty nice old building. City Hall, respecting the First Amendment, freedom of the press, and the video recorded in public. Let's see some of the city of Dunkirk down here, right behind that bridge, and past there, you got Lake Erie. Yet, but it did move. Down here today, I submitted the foil request that you guys just seen on uh, second. It is the 17th. I have called down here a few times to get a clarification. They ignored my foil request as of so far. They have not acknowledged that there's a foil request pending. Um, by law, they have five days. Um, they had five, ten business days, which is a lot longer than that. So. I'm going to go down here and see if we, who we can talk to about it. I talked to them on the phone a few times, and they uh not very responsive. They sent me the voicemails. I never really get anywhere. So let's see uh, who we got here. Let's 
excuse me. You are just a patrolman or are you sar that sergeant? That sergeant. Um, I'm here to talk to somebody about a FOIA request I put in um, on the second and I never received any acknowledgement of it. I called on the phone a few times. They usually just send me a voicemail. I just want to get confirmed that they have it and they're working on it or what's going on. If I talk to somebody at the desk or that would be you? Uh, I'll FOIA request go to the chief of police. Alright. I noticed his vehicle isn't here today when I came in. So I don't know if he's around. So there's no way to acknowledge that he has this form? I don't know. I don't have that form. I wouldn't have access to it. Mm -hmm. When you fill out a pre Is there anybody else here to talk to? Like a supervisor that would have any idea other than the chief? The captain's here. Uh, ask for him at the desk you up here? Alright, well, thank you very much. Sure. Let's see if I can possibly speak to the captain. Okay. He's not in today, but there's at least two people in that office. In there. They're just ignoring me right now. I don't know what's going on. There you go. Hey, Dom. I'm Dan. Uh, I filled out some FOIA request form. I submitted it on the second. Mm -hmm. By law, you guys are supposed to respond to it within five days. Okay. And then. Uh, it's been 10 days. I haven't heard back. I made a few phone calls down here. I don't really get anywhere more than putting on a voicemail. No phone calls back. I'm just wondering what's going on. Is there any way we could track down this FOIL request and admit that we got it and get that uh, admission? We, any kind of FOIL request goes through the chief's office. He's, he's not here? He's not here today. Somebody, nobody in the office? Um, the secretary could be in the office, but it goes through the chief. So if he signed it or approved it, that's above my pay grade. He's the only one that would I understand that, but my point is that by law, you guys are supposed to respond to it within five days. Okay. It's been 10 business days or 14 okay. um, days in total. You guys are in violation of New York State law about my FOIA request. I'm just down here to make get some clarification. So anything you can give me, I can't clarify that you even put in a FOIA request. That doesn't go through me. That goes right to the chief secretary. And the chief secretary can't find locate the paperwork and say it's here. We got I, it. I I would talk with the chief. He'll be here on Monday morning. If that's what you want to do, there's I, no way I could talk to the secretary here, and you could find out if she's got the paper, so I could be on my way, and I get my acknowledgement that you guys are overdue by five days by law. Like you guys are in violation of law right now. I'm not trying to be a pain in the ass, but I, yeah, I just I, I'm just I, looking for the public records that I'm requesting. That's that, all. That's, that happens on that side of the hallway, so nobody on this side of the hallway is even know that you put in a FOIL request. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I mean, I handed it through this window, but. And then it goes right to the chief. Yeah, I understand. Office. So I wouldn't know. Can we call over there and just locate the sheet and uh, find out or no? I can ask. All right, I would appreciate it. Just to find out they have it, they can acknowledge they have it, then we can get, then we can get that five days over with. And they're calling the chief because no one, I don't, no one on this side knows what's going on. The secretary wasn't sure. He says there's nothing to release to you. He says there's nothing to release to you. So he's denying my. Yes. So now I have to write an appeal and take you guys to court then. Yes, that would be it, whatever the next step is. But that. So he's not even going to formally deny it. He's just going to ignore it completely. Is this how this is um, going to work? He said that he's denying. It. Yeah, but like he said it, like... That's what he said to me. Right. I mean, you gotta take care of that at a different level. This is patrol. But the secretary won't even speak to me right now. Well, because she's gonna tell you the same thing. When were you guys gonna tell me? I don't know when they're gonna tell you. You're missing the point. That's a different above my pay grade, okay? 
So that's what I was told. Your captain, right? Yes, I was told to tell you that. The chief takes care of all the foil. He approves the foils and all so that the, stuff. So in other words, you're telling me that the chief was just going to ignore it completely and I tell me you, when I finally come down here in person. I didn't tell you that. I right. told you what he Well, just you did just me. tell me that he, he denied it verbally. Exactly. He verbally, did. but he never acknowledged he got it. He was just going to ignore it. I don't know it. what he did. He told me Please have a nice day. Oh, I'm going to have a nice nice one, all right? You guys enjoy. Enjoy what you guys just did to yourself. So you have it. They were just going to ignore the foil request. And the chief is going to tell me through having to come down here and talk to them in person that they're just going to deny it um, by not even responding, ignoring it completely. So let's go have a talk with some of these town board members about that. Doing. Is the town clerk available? Um, he's on the phone. Can you hold for just a minute? Yeah, absolutely. Sure, what's your name? My name is Dan. Okay, let me know you're here. New York State Troopers. I am the deputy city clerk. I'm going to talk to maybe you or the, the clerk themselves. Um, yeah, I got a discrepancy down here at the city, and I just want to bring it to your attention. Um, I put a FOIL request in with the police department mm -hmm. for some body camera footage and some records and some uh, public information, mm -hmm. and I submitted it on the second. Um, by law, you have five days to answer to it, meaning just respond saying you received it, and then you got 20 days to fulfill it, deny it, or, or whatnot. Um, when I put the FOIL request in with the police department just now, I put it on the second. Um, there's 10 business days or 14 days total gone okay. by. They never acknowledged it. Mm -hmm. I just came down. I called them a few times yesterday, today, and the day before. I called them, and I can't get any description on more in voicemails. And, uh, now, have you gone over there? I just went over there now, and I talked to the captain. They're all playing. They don't know anything. They, they're just the patrol side on that side. But I asked them. I told them, you know, you guys have violation of New York State law to respond to the FOIA request, I'm asking you, can you at least acknowledge that she has it and give me the acknowledgement that you have it? He comes back out and says the chief's just gonna verbally deny it without ever admitting he had it, without no formal letter back saying why he denied it or, or anything. He's just gonna deny it over the phone like this, which is in complete violation of New York State law. And uh, being that you are the city clerk, I, I'm, I'm assuming, right, assistant, you are the city clerk? Correct. I just wanna bring it to your attention that I'm not down here just for Lolly gags. I'm here on uh, business where what I do is I educate people how to use their First Amendment rights, Second Amendment, Fourth Amendment, all these, and I also educate on the FOIL process. Now this city is about to get in this position where they're not going to acknowledge, they're going to violate the law. At this point, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I just want to know your opinion on what the city's doing here, where they, instead of you know following the law, responding to the FOIL system as it is in New York State law. Um, freedom of information law, and they ignored the five-day acknowledgement that they got it, and I keep getting voicemails, and I finally come down here because I'm getting the runaround for sure, and then they're going to tell me that there's nothing to submit. They just threw it out without okay. ever acknowledging it. Now, have you spoken to the chief of police? Uh, the chief of police is not here. His secretary is the only one I've spoken to. She's left at least three or four voicemails on, their vo on his voicemail, but it never really gets me anywhere because, I mean, like I said, it's been... So 14 days since I turned it in and they're clearly not calling me back and when I came here and asked them about it in person because I can't get no answers on the phone they're going to tell me that they're denying it without even going through the process the legal process of what foil is in New York State okay so I don't know if I can foil it through you you can or if I can uh, if this is a good enough appeal because I need to appeal it, that's the process. You know, that he's, he's denying it verbally without ever giving any written at all. So I got no okay. documentation to go on to. So like the next step to a denied FOIL request would be to appeal that decision. You appeal it and tell them why you want to appeal it. And then if they still say no, then we have to go before a judge. Okay. I'd like to avoid all that. And for the sake that this is not just me down here, I'm down here representing the people. 
and teaching people how to use the FOIL system. I'm just expecting a little clarity on public records and what are public records and what belongs to the people, the taxpayers, such as you know body cam footage or procedures. All I asked for was the form that they would okay. use. Uh, right, procedures so I and body camera footage. Before, so I would have to look into this and see what the, exactly the process is. Mm -hmm. um, you, you don't deal with FOIL process here as far as like public records on the like license department or anything like that? So you're talking about an appeal. I haven't yeah, gone yeah, the appeal, through an yeah. appeal. Right, okay, so this is something that I have to look into and, and get back to you on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, if you can give me your contact information, I can look into this and I can get back to you. For sure. Okay. I mean, like, I guess, like, what I requested was uh, some body care for this guy to go through the chief. He's going to deny it without going through the process. I don't know if we could talk to the mayor even. I don't know if uh, that's possible, the mayor's around. or I just know that if uh, it's got to go through the court, you know, if I have to go to the courts to get the records, it's going to come through you eventually. Okay. Do you have a copy of your, of your FOIL request? I do not have the actual copy. I don't know if they still have it. I don't know if they threw it out, lost it. I don't know what they have. I, I probably have a picture of it. file a new FOIL request? I will file a new FOIL request as an appeal, yes. Okay. I don't mind so doing that. If you that. wanted to do that, this is a FOIL request. If you want to fill that out, I can make a copy of that. Um, turn in the copy to the, um, to the police department and to our attorney who We'll sign off on it if um, if it's something that's, that is legal. Mm -hmm. This is how we have them signed off. Once they're signed off, then um, you should be able to get the information that you need if they deem that it's um, a legal request. All right. Okay. I will definitely do that. I will take the moment to fill this out, and I'll hand it right back into you here. Sounds good. And then uh, we'll use this as an appeal, and I'll leave all the information with you as well. Say again? I will leave all the information like my contact information. That Can I just get your name real quick? You are your name? My name is Edwin Ramos. I'm the city clerk for the city of Dunkirk. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Fill this out real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, there are. You have the form done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the form's done. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the form's all filled at the top that it's an appeal to the original. I, okay. I explained how they denied it by just ignoring it and violating mm -hmm. the law. Mm -hmm. um, um, hopefully, we can get a little clear, clarity here and a little. Okay. Clear, no. Clarity we'll, from this. Okay, we'll send it to the departments that, you know, to review and sign off on. Mm -hmm. So I'll take that and time stamp it, and, and it gets started in with the chief's, um, and mm -hmm. then it goes to the city attorney. And then um, usually the... the when See, like, I already filled this out word for word pretty much already mm -hmm. once, okay. and he just ignored it. Okay. He didn't deny it. He didn't acknowledge he ever had it. It was in okay. violation of the New York State law, FOIL law. Well, we'll try and, uh, it again and see what happens So this, this is time. this to me. I wrote on top that it's an appeal, mm -hmm. an appeal to that decision. So, I mean, the next step, if they just ignore it again, is going to be some litigation with some lawyers and okay. some uh, court actions. And that's the last thing I want to do. I don't want you guys to show the public mm -hmm. that that's the what you'd have to go through in the city of Dunkirk. That's all. I'm just looking for a little clarity on public okay. records. I'll timestamp it and put it in the I mean, GC it's it's one thing to box. deny a FOIL mm -hmm. request. It's a whole different ballpark when you guys are ignoring a FOIL request down here. So okay. I just come down here and try to go through a different avenue and exhaust all my resources before I have to go through litigation, all right? Thank, Thank you very much. Oh, we appealed it. That's the process. That is the city of Dunkirk again. Trying to get in the spotlight.